All right. So this is, uh, I think it's a work zone. Yeah, Aldi special vacuum cleaner. But this battery was, it came with a two amp. It was crap. So I can now run all my Roby batteries on it because I put on a custom thing. Again, this is USB powered Roby tool. But it'll charge any USB powered device. That's what it's made for. And all I've done is sticky taped it to this vacuum cleaner so it didn't fall off. Now, I'll undo the tape and I'll come back. Okay, so I peeled off all my tape. This is basic mock up. Two blade connectors on there just to connect to the original power connector for the original battery. And two wires coming out of that. This is a highly modified, or highly modified, it was the USB charger. Probably a model number on there somewhere, there you go. Gave you out two five, well, two five volt USB ports, one 2.1 amp, one 1 amp. I've removed all the circuitry, all by those two metal pins. And I'll show you that by taking the tape off, because I didn't bother putting the screws back in this one. It's just taped it together. No screws. Anyway. I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so you can see from here. Oops, well, there you go. Now it's open. Run this together. That's what it looks like. You can see where this whole section I cut out. That's where the USB board would have sat with two USB outputs. I cut all that rubbish off so it fit on the back of the vacuum cleaner even closer together. I didn't need the circuitry don't need my vacuum cleaner to be USB chargeable or charging USB devices but yes you disassemble the case inside the case you get this little piece of plastic embedded in the piece of plastic is two prongs that's all I did soldered wires straight onto them insulated them with a bit of heat shrink job done you run one to the next pair of these you like hook it in series and then to your code cart like this um, it's pretty good stuff. I'm sure you can figure that out. Every tool, even if you cut off the bum of a, of a tool to get to the battery holder, there'll be this in there. You need this. You solder your positive to the positive side. Make sure that when you plug your battery in, the top of the battery will tell you which one's positive, which one's negative. You've got to align it up so that the positive is on the positive side. You don't want to put the negative on the positive and then plug the battery in and the whole thing just go 